So, hey guys, George here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the real names, logos, kits, trophies into Football Manager 2023. Um, guys, there's going to be timestamps in the description below. If you only need one of these things, you're going to be able to access it. Just go down, click the bit that you need, and it is there for you. But if you need everything, then watch the whole video. Guys, let's get straight into it. So then, guys, the first thing you want to download is going to be WinRAR. Now, all the links for everything that you need are going to be in the description below. So you can just click on the link and download it. So all you need to do is click Download WinRAR. Now, this is a program continues to download WinRAR, WinRAR, that all it does is helps you extract your program, then what you want to do is go on to install it, I've already installed it so I'm going to click no, but you need to click yes, um, and then just install, anyway, I've already installed it, so that's the way it is. So then guys, the next program that you need to install is something called uTorrent, now this is really really helpful for downloading very large files, such as face packs, and um, kit packs and logo packs and stuff as well. Kit packs aren't that large, but uTorrent is really helpful for downloading these. Now, sometimes your internet provider may block these websites. Don't worry, it is 100% safe and um, they won't download any viruses on your computer. So all you need to do is click free download, download it. It's gonna choose a mirror, we'll click download now, and uh, there you go. And then it should load you into this window, click next, it's gonna do its install, and then you want to click next here, agree to the license, and then decline all these extra options. You don't need these. Anyway, I've already installed it, so I'm going to close the install. Let's get straight into how to download your logo packs. Okay then guys, so to download your logos, this is a really, really good logo pack for Football Manager. Now, it is an FM22 one, but it has been modified for FM23. So do not worry, all the logos are the same anyway, it's all nice and updated. So all you need to do is scroll down. Now read this bit here, the Manchester United logo is not present in this pack for image rights issues. United have some weird thing with Sports Interactive who make Football Manager who don't allow their real name and logo to be in the game. So that is why it's not included. But I do have a workaround for that and uh, keep watching to find out how to get the United logo in the game. So to install the TCM Mega Pack, you just follow these instructions here. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, right now. So we scroll down all the way to the bottom and click download. Now this is 2.7 gigabytes. There are updates as well that you can download if you want to. But just click download. It should take you to this download page. Click download. It takes you to a mega link and then just start downloading and then it'll automatically do it once it's finished downloading and you'll have the files available and then I'll show you how to install them. So then guys, for the Manchester United logo, you want to download this file called 680. Now I have made this myself, uh, I made it two years ago um, for Football Manager and uh, so that's why it says it uploaded 2020. All you need to do is click download a very small file, it opens up in a WinRAR archive and here you go. In here you have the large and small Manchester United logos, open up 680 and it comes up with the United logo. I'll show you how to install that once we've downloaded all our other packs. So then guys, this is the one that might be very, very important to you. The real names license fix. Really key for Football Manager because a lot of licenses they don't have. So, real names license fix, very important. All you do is click download now. There are also, by the way, instructions on this page to install it if you want to follow those, but I will also show you how to install it. So we click download again, and then it will download it. Again, I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to click cancel download once it comes up here. Oh, it's already done it. So there you go. So then guys, the next thing is your kits. Now these are of course very, very important for the kits of all the teams in the game. Now, there are a few different options here and it's whichever one you like. You do have to create an account for this website, sortitoutsi.net, but it's totally free and that allows you to download so many things to enhance your Football Manager game. So you've got the standard kits, the SS kits, FC12 and 3D kits. These 3D ones are for the in-game match engine and they will come up in game. The SS ones just come up on club overview screens and other things in Football Manager. So we're going to download one. So SS kits will go for you can choose whichever you like and you click FM23 and then whichever you like. So England level one to three will go for that one and 
then you just hit download on the side and then it should just be down here click media fire and then hit download it automatically downloads i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it okay then guys so another key thing is your faces now there are many face packs out there and they are all extremely large because there are so many faces in the game thousands and thousands of pictures you can see here 381,000 files so it really depends which face pack you want now i like the cutout faces mega pack because it doesn't really need updating often um because it's just the cutout faces the kits generally aren't involved so when you move a player to another club then it you it doesn't look like they've played for their old club so for this this is very very large files um, so all you have to do here is click download once again and there are different lots of different parts as you can see here part 1 of 11 or you can download them in a complete file with a torrent now this is where uTorrent comes in handy you just click download torrent it will download a torrent file then it's actually going to open up BitTorrent or uTorrent, whichever you've got. Then it'll say, sort out, cut out, sort it out as I cut out faces mega pack. Make sure this is ticked, click OK, and it will start to download it. And that is how you download your face packs. Now, guys, the final graphics pack that you might need is the trophies mega pack. Now, this trophies mega pack will put all the trophies in the game as we know so again it's on fm scout you just hit download now download now again and then it takes you over to mediafire it should automatically download the file if it doesn't you just have to click download but it should automatically do it just hit that and then it shall start downloading in the background and that is every single file that you might need for your football manager 2023 game so then guys, you've downloaded all these files, it may have taken a while because of the size of them all, but you've downloaded them all, and now you're questioning, okay, what do you do to install them? So, I'm going to show you. So, we'll start off with the real names fix. Now, here you can see in WinRot, it has been downloaded. Now, this is how you're going to install it into the game. You want to bring up File Explorer, you want to go to where your Football Manager 2023 game is located so for me it's on my second ssd steam library it might also be program files x86 then steam apps common football manager 2023 data database db 2300 however this will change depending on the game update so when they update the databases for the winter transfer update this will change to maybe 2340 then you do have to redo this when starting a new save um, but again, it's the same process, so do not worry. So we go into 2300, and then you've got these files here. Now I'm going to show you where to put all your different files. So then, guys, I'm going to actually use Football Manager 2022 to show you how to do this, because I've already done it in 23. But it is exactly the same thing. So you want to go to this folder called LNC. Then you click All, and then you'll see all these files. You want to delete Fake, Lick, Dance, Way, Fra, and End League delete all these files lovely jubbly then what you want to do is grab your winrar folder we'll just make this slightly smaller and then grab these two files the club names and the fix and just drag them and drop them into here and that will be your real names in this folder however we still have some, some more files to delete so we're going to go back to 2300 2230 in my case then go to edt permanent and then you've got another file to delete it's fake edt just delete that and then head back to 2300 again in the little address bar here or you can click back twice then dbc permanent and then you've got some files to delete here you want to delete brazil kits forbidden names licensing 2 licensing chn zebra award zebra insurance fake staff However, these two bottom ones here won't be in Football Manager 2023 because Juventus are licensed. However, you want to delete all those files. The only ones you want left are Creator Club, Swear Words, and UK Permit Dates. And that will be your real names installed in Football Manager 2023. Let's move on to the logo packs. So then guys, to install your logo pack, what you want to do is get your logo folder open so open your winrar file with your logos in so then guys you go to documents sports interactive 
Football Manager 2023, then if you haven't already, and if there wasn't isn't one already here, you need to create a folder called Graphics. Now, you just do that by clicking New, Folder, and naming it Graphics. Then once you've done this, create four folders in here called Faces, Kits, Logos, and Trophies. Then what you want to do is go into Logos, and then get your WinRAR file. There'll be nothing in there. Just paste it in, and it's there. And that is how you install your Logo Pack in FM23. So now guys, you want to open the 680 WinRAR file, and then what you want to do is once again go to Documents, Sports Interactive again, FM23, Graphics, and then Logos. Now go into your respective Logo Pack, go into Europe, and then scroll down to England, Clubs, Normal, and then what you want to do is get 680, open the large folder, and copy 680.png into here. Then, it should just paste it in there anyway. I'm just going to click skip file because I've already got one in there. Then you go back to clubs, small, and then go back to 680, go to small, and once again, paste it in. Again, I'm going to skip it, but it should just paste in very easily. And that is how you install your Manchester United logo in FM23. So then guys, let's install our face pack. So, you're going to get your face pack folder. Here it is. Graphics, faces, and then just go and paste it in there. Drag it across, and it will be there. So we'll just delete that one because that's empty. And there is your faces installed. Now, let's install the final piece of the jigsaw, which is the trophies. So, for this, very simple once again. Graphics, trophies, and get your WinRAR folder open. Again, we'll just use sort out SI here. Uh, and then, just once again, paste it in. And that is your trophies installed. And then you have installed everything in your Football Manager 2023. Now I'm going to show you how to get it into the game. Very simple, and then we're done. So then what you want to do when you're in Football Manager is go to Preferences, Interface, and then untick Use Caching to decrease, to decrease page loading times. This will be ticked, and actually tick Reload Skin when confirming changes in Preferences. Then you just click Confirm. For me, I'm just going to do Reload Skin. Then it will reload absolutely everything into your game. This will take a while, and you'll see it here take a while because it's got to load everything into the game. And then everything should be loaded into the game, and I'll show you proof of that once we get into the game, basically. Um, so once it's finished loading image data for new skin, then there you go, it's loaded. It will take a different amount of time depending on the speed of your computer. Mine is very fast, so it does it nice and quickly. We'll load our game up here, and what we can just do is we can go into the Premier League, which is now renamed the Premier League. Manchester United are now named Manchester United. You can see all of the logos are in here for the teams that are unlicensed, and um, that is pretty much you done. We'll go on United. You can see all of the faces are here. Harry Maguire, look at that forehead. Absolutely fantastic. But there you go, guys. That is how you install everything into Football Manager 2023. If you've got any questions, please put them down in the comments below if you're not unsure. If you're unsure on how to do anything, I'm absolutely happy to answer them. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Really helps. And subscribe as well if you would like to. That would be fantastic. Trying to grow the channel. And um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoy your Football Manager 2023 save. Stick your questions down below if you've got any. And that's going to be it from me. For now, it's George. Out.